Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. I've just had a DM from a subscriber uh, telling me that he's having trouble lockpicking. So I thought I'd cobble this together uh, just to give you guys a good idea how to lockpick, dispel some myths. Now this isn't a power levering video, though we will touch on that uh, a little bit down the line. I never play as a thief as such, so I never put any perks into lockpicking skill tree. And I've got to level 80 or just by picking locks as and when or I have to or I want to. So this video is based on exactly that, no perks. Uh, first of all, I'll be going through the things that will make lock picking and leveling and lock picking easier. Then I'll show you how to lock pick and then we'll see if we can power level our way through lock picking uh, by breaking locks uh, or breaking lock picks. Uh, lock picking is a skill that falls under the thief skill set. The lockpicking mechanic is different from a lot of other games actually and I, and I like it this way as you can attempt to pick a lock of any difficulty regardless of your skill level and you don't have to have any specific perks to attempt to lock. Also unlike many other uh, skills um, a failure still gives you some advancement. Uh, each time a lockpick is broken the skill goes up albeit uh, an amount smaller than successfully picking the lock. Um, as I mentioned before, one way to level the skill is to obtain a large number of picks and deliberately break them in a master lock or any lock to be fair. Um, and I'll explain that in more detail uh, later on and you can see if that's a particular road you wish to travel. So let's crack on. Okay, so gear and potions. Uh, knock up some potions using two of the following. Ashen Grass Pod, Falmer Ear, Namira's Roots, Pine Thrush Egg or Spider's Egg. Make up a couple of potions of those, or a few. So to enchant our gear, we need some enchanting potions. So any two of the following. Yes, Blue Butterfly Wing, Snowberries, Ancestor Moth Wing, Chorosa Hunter Antennae, Hargraven Claw, Spawn Ash, or Sprig and Sap. I always use Blue Butterfly Wing and Snowberries as they're the most common. Knock up a few of those. Okay, so now you're going to need to find, steal, beg or borrow or buy uh, an item with a lockpicking enchantment on it. So bring it to an arcane enchanter and disenchant it. You can enchant up to four different things with the, this enchantment. That's a hat, necklace, ring, gloves or braces or gauntlets, that kind of thing. Always quick save before you enchant. Uh, so quick save, then take your potion, then start enchanting. Okay, I'll be doing all this at the Thieves Guild, but before we go there, we'll go to the Guardian Stones and hit up the Thief Stone as that enhances our um, uh, progress by 20%, which is quite significant. I'm going to be using the Praxis Chests at the Thieves Guild in Riften, and uh, can't tell you guys enough, do the Thieves Guild storyline. Probably the best storyline of the game, in my opinion. Anyway. Let's go to Riften. Okay, there's a few schools of thought on lock picking. Uh, some people go the through the clock through 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, some go by the hour, which I'm one of, and others go by the sound. So what I'm going to do is a little experiment and you can decide which way uh, you think is best. And uh, so here, have a look at this. Okay, I'm going to put this to test. Uh, what I've done is the top one is where I've done it by the hour. Um, I've turned the sound down on that. I've left the sound up on the one where I'm actually looking for um, uh, just rotating it round and just going by sound only. Uh, now you have a little listen and see if you can actually hear anything that uh, would make you think that's where it is by sound alone. Okay, I think we can fairly safely put the uh, listening part to bed once and for all. It doesn't work. So that's going to leave you with the positions on the clock and you can do whichever one makes you feel comfortable. More often than not, I do the hour, but sometimes I do a combination of both. Um, anyway, so let's crack on and I'll show you exactly uh, how I do it. 
Now I'm using a PC, uh, you console guys um, obviously have your own commands. Um, now I use a mouse key to uh, turn the, uh, or move the pick up and down, and I tweak it with my A and D keys. So all I'm doing is moving my mouse up and then gently tapping my A or D keys. And when I get a little bit of give, just a little bit, I know I'm near the sweet spot. See, sweet spot. Uh, and then I'll move and adjust until I get more give, adjust again, get more give, there you go. Simple as that. And that applies for all locks, whatever their level, it doesn't matter, the principle's the same. Okay, we'll just do a, another quick demo. Okay, using my A and D to tweak the peak and my mouse to turn the lock. Again, console guys, you've got your own thing. Okay, so it's starting to give there. So I've got near where I was, and then I adjust a little bit further. Just a little bit further, a little bit further, and job done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Practice makes perfect. Now, master locks, that's a, something a little bit different, and we'll have a look at them now. Now, with master locks, the principle's exactly the same, except you have such a uh, lack of forgiving in, in, in the lock. So you're gonna go through a lot of lock picks unless you get lucky. Um, but like I say, the principle's the same. Now, whatever you do, if you don't have many lock picks, always quick save before you start lock picking a master lock. And this is when your gear and potions really come into its own. Now, I got a little bit lucky on this one. Um, sometimes you can go through a whole heap of uh, picks just trying to find that sweet spot. But anyway, there you go. We'll have a look at the gear now. Okay, let's get our gear on. And as I said before, I mean, I've enchanted this to quite a high level. I mean, 52% and it stacks as well. It, it, it's ridiculously good. Um, and you may not have quite as high level gear as this. However, it doesn't matter. It, it helps. It really makes a difference. Um, this is obviously an extreme example, but here we go. I'm doing this quickly as well. There you go, Bosch. That's the difference your, your your gear makes. Now, let's have a look at just using a potion on its own. Okay, let's glug down a potion here. Where are we, where are we? Here you go, lock pick is 60% easier for 30 seconds. Let's nom one of these. There you go, job done. So that just proves it. Make yourself some uh, lock picking gear and make yourself some lock picking potions for those yummy chests stuffed full of loot in tombs and barrows. Excellent stuff, well worth doing. Okay, the final thing to go through uh, in this video is whether you can break lock picks. Um, and still get to level 100 in lock picking um, purely by just ramming a lock pick in there, breaking it, ramming another one in there, breaking it, and blah blah. Uh, yes, you can. Um, it's, it's most certainly possible, uh, but I'm going to basically give you how long it will take you. Um, it's going to take you round about three to four hours to do it. You're going to need round about 4,350 uh, lock picks um, and it will take you, just say you got it at level one and started doing it, it will uh, bring you up to level se se um, 17. So you go from level one to level 17. So you've got uh, 16 levels um, doing it that way. Is it worth it? No. I've never done any uh, put any lock picking perks in uh, never done lock picking training I just use gear and potions and actually most of the time I don't even do that um, it's only when you start getting up to the really high level chess um, you know and you haven't got that many lock picks but then I'll start using gear and potions so anyway guys I hope you found this uh, useful and interesting um, showing you the right ways and the wrong ways to lock pick 
Enjoy boys and girls. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.